Hello and welcome to a little quick overview of two new annuals that have been shown in some screenshots for the upcoming Southeast Asia DLC. Today we are going to look at this gorgeous looking giant leaf insect over here. This is of course going to be an exhibit animal, um, but I think, my god, um, Planet Zoo just entered a new world of details. I think um, when I thought this uh, passing by on Twitter a couple of minutes ago, I was like, can you please you know, take down that photo and just upload the real thing, please. Um, that looks fantastic. And not only the, the model of it looks fantastic, but also the texturing and the bump map is just on another level when it comes to these exhibit animals. Again, you know, I would, I would love to have a little bit more control over these exhibits. For me personally, I would just love to have the option to disable uh, the entire shell, just as we've seen now in Prehistoric Kingdom with the Microraptor house. So that would be something I really hope Frontier is going to tackle, simply because I see how much creativity is uh, lying in there. Um, and then we would have the chance to see these animals a little bit better and make them make them highlight it just more, because then then you can actually play with them. Because again, I'm really I'm really still quite happy about the exhibits, you know, I'm f I'm totally fine with them idling in some different positions if it was about to see them a little bit more better. That would be awesome, okay? Um, but there's not much more to say about this uh, giant leaf insect. It looks good, it looks gorgeous, it looks fantastic, I have to say, uh, but at the very end, it is an exhibit animal and uh, you will have some of these uh, in there and I'm really curious to see if the uh, overall uh, inside of it looks a little bit uh, different because whenever we got a new um, exhibit animal we got also a new biome type or at least a variant of it uh, so really curious to see if it is one and then we had another one which is the uh, malayan tapir funny enough a lot of people are very happy about this animal and i i will be honest with you i wasn't super amazed because we already had the master race being the birds tapir in the game okay no i'm just kidding but because basically it is very very similar to the birds tapir the malayan tapir is a little bit bigger well actually it's it's you know reasonably bigger um than the birds tapir i think it's like 20 percent bigger than its uh, other uh, species friend um and the babies uh, have a similar actually uh, pattern and similar look um, as their other counterpart. However, it's darker and a lot more towards black grayish, while the other one is brown, almost like beige um, colored. Uh, so these are the, the main difference between them. But uh, when it comes to the body and so on, they're very similar. I think the feet are slightly different to the bird's tapir, but in general, um, obviously it's the same species. Um, it's just a different subspecies of it. Um, but I'm very happy still to have the lion tapir in here. And who knows, maybe we are going to see that one in quite soon as an exchange for the other master race before they uh, do another uh, rave over there. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just can't get over the fact that was still a very happy one. Um, and it's like nearly a year ago, so that was funny. Well, actually, um, that's almost about it. Uh, three minutes in, that should be enough for this quick update. I'm still very amazed to see the next one. I still want to see the bin too wrong. Um, but other than that, this is it for today. Keep your eyes peeled on the channel. There's more coming in the next couple of days. And um, yeah. I really hope you guys enjoy. Stay safe, everyone, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Goodbye.